For centuries, international law really didn't have a system of courts, and so many early cases were resolved in other, less formal ways. The case of the Caroline was resolved by negotiation between Great Britain and the United States, but along the way they established a legal principle which remains in use to this very day. In 1837, Great Britain still had a colony called British North America, which later became Canada. There was a movement afoot though to break away from Britain and declare independence. It wasn't going terribly well for the rebels, some of whom fled in a steamboat named the Caroline and took refuge on Navy Island on the Niagara River. The British found out and sent forces who found the Caroline lurking on the United States side of the river. They seized the ship, set her alight and sent her over Niagara Falls. One crew member, an American citizen, was killed. The incident set off a diplomatic row between Britain and the US. The Americans were angry because the British had entered their territory and killed one of their citizens. The British claimed that they had acted in self-defence to prevent rebellion. The British were also miffed because the Americans had been supporting and supplying the rebels. The whole affair led to major negotiations between the two governments. American diplomat Daniel Webster wrote a letter to Britain's Lord Ashburton. He discussed the issue of self-defence and gave his definition, which has been quoted over and over in the 180 years since. He said that any government relying on self-defence to enter the territory of another nation must show a necessity of self-defence, instant, overwhelming, leaving no choice of means and no moment for deliberation. He also argued that the act justified by the necessity of self-defence must be limited by that necessity and kept clearly within it. What all of this meant is that if there was an option other than invading the territory of another sovereign nation in self-defence, well then that other option should be taken, and that self-defence didn't justify acts of revenge or punishment. The Caroline Principle has since been applied on many occasions, as recently as 2003 in relation to the invasion of Iraq, a fundamental law from a wrecked and burning steamship. Mm -hmm.